Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Keckel, and Kevin Murphy on site. We have uh, the Frontier Red Hawks versus the uh, Athol Bears. Um, Frontier, they are 1-2 and two on the season and they are coming off of a win against... Uh, hold on. <laughs> it was a win against Franklin Tech. Uh, the, where they won 18 to six. So, um, Athol, this is their uh, their first game of the season, so it'll it'll definitely be an interesting one, um, and we'll see how it goes. And here comes the Red Hawks. going to be yeah, who's pitching? Okay, uh, it's going to be uh, Olivia Michon pitching for the Red Ox. Um, and on the other side, you had uh, for the Athol Bears, you have Bonafont. I'll quickly do uh, kind of a lineup for the for the Bears. You have uh, their shortstop uh, Logan, their center fielder Robertson, uh, Bonifant is their third baseman, batting fourth. Their cleanup hitter is uh, their pitcher uh, Jay Chapelonis. Uh, their catcher batting fifth is uh, Hermes. Left fielder is H. Uh, Cummings. Uh, their first baseman batting seventh is K. Gregory. Second baseman uh, batting eighth is T. Chapelonis. And their right fielder batting ninth is G. Valencourt. And here, uh, I think it's Alyssa Logan. She's going to be batting first for the Bears. And here comes the first pitch from Olivia and Sean. It's going to be strike one. Gonna be inside for ball one. Counts one and one. And a high swing. It's gonna be a uh, strike two on it. Yeah, Tom, that was above the letters on that one. Yeah, it's hard hard not to chase those ones. Fly ball into right field. Taylor will field it and get it into second base. So lead off it. Yeah, you know, she stuck with it and kept her head level. Nice level swing. Dropped it in there. And now batting is uh, Robertson. Gonna be strike one. Counts on one. Here comes the pitch from Sean. It's gonna be inside for ball one.
Sean with the pitch. Inside again, two and one count. And that's going to be strike two down the middle. Two and two now. No outs. Sean to deliver. It's going to be high for ball three, full count. Here comes the payoff pitch. And that's going to be ball four. Yeah, so there's going to be first and second now, no outs. It's definitely not how Frontier wants to start off the first inning. Yeah. Exactly right. This is not how you want to start. And that's going to be ball one. I think it was high and inside. If anything, I would see her starting to pitch a little bit more down low than anything to try and make it so she could get into a double play. Yeah. That one's going to be in there for a strike, so it counts one and one. And it's uh, Bonafont. She does not go, and it's going to be a ball. I'm surprised they didn't appeal that just because the the home plate ump did want to call it a strike. Yeah. Well, I, I think uh, Fifield, she kind of appealed it to them. And looks like the wild pitch and both runners will advance. Yeah, and that's going to make it so the double play isn't going to be possible, really. So now it's anything that they're going to look for. They're going to try and hope to get it so they can hold those runners at third and second now. Fly ball into right field. And one run will score. So that's going to make it one to nothing. And Bonafont will reach first base. So still no outs and man on first and third. Yeah, no, Athol's doing a good job at just taking, uh, making them pitch. You know, they're working in the count and getting into the good hitters counts. Yeah. That's going to be a pop out and. Oh. Uh, Chapelonis will fly out to the. Uh, to the pitcher. Uh, to Olivia Michon. And that will be one down for the Hawks. Now batting is uh, M. Hermes. Count is 1-0, oh. now 2-0. Oh. If it's on the ground, I would see them to attempt to turn 2. Anything in the air is probably going to be a cut to home. Yeah. And on the infield, though, uh, the, the batters will, or the runners will uh, yes. save. Stay on the base. And that's going to be ball four in the dirt. So that's going to be bases loaded, Tom, now with one out. Yep. Definitely not how Frontier want to start this, but, you know, they still can get out of it. A ground ball, turn two, or pop up and hold the runners. That's going to be in there for strike one. And, uh... It will be um, H. Cummings up to bat, the left fielder for the Bears. High swing and a miss. Yeah, it looked like she let her uh, move her head and took her eyes off the ball. You're exactly right with that. 
Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I think it was just outside. And it's going to be a 2-1 count. Good hitter's count here. Comes the pitch from Mashawn. There it is. Oh, that was strike three, excuse me, so. So now it will be two outs, bases loaded. Frontier can get out of this, hopefully, with only a one run. Yeah. And it's going to be Kay Gregory up to bat. High for ball one. At this point, you just want your pitcher to let them hit it at this point and just hope to keep it where the, your teammates can get to it. Ooh, it's going to be a wild pitch. But no advance on it, Tom, because the bases are loaded. Yeah, and um, it's not too, uh, too long of a backstop, so. <laughs> you got to be quick. Here comes the pitch from Sean. It's going to be in there for a strike. Nice pitch, too. Right at the knees. Yeah, it would be almost like a... That's going to be strike two. Another pitch right at the knees, Tom. Yeah, it's almost like you're going to be golfing for that one. So... Strike three, so back-to-back -back strikeouts, and that'll end the inning. So Frontier does allow one run, though, Tom. Yeah. But at least it's only one, because it could have been a lot more with the bases loaded. Yeah, they got they got lucky there. Um, and it was good pitching from Olivia Michon to get out of there with the uh, bases loaded. So we're, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, Kevin Murphy on site tonight. Uh, so I'm going to quickly uh, announce the, uh, the lineup for Frontier. And we are in the bottom of the first. So, uh, in left field, batting first for the Hawks, it's Ashley Taylor. Uh, batting second and playing second base is Haley Hadowski. Uh, batting third, playing catcher is Lou Fifield. Batting fourth, and the cleanup hitter is uh, Skylar Steele. She's playing third base. Batting fifth and playing first base is Sophia Pinardi. Uh, Batting sixth, playing shortstop, uh, Gabrielle Adams. Uh, batting seventh, um, pitching is Olivia Michon. Uh, batting eighth, as the designated hitter, is uh, Addie Woods. And uh, batting ninth is Addie L, playing right field. And Jad Jazzy Hayes. Uh, has the she's playing center field and she has the designated hitter. So good lineup for the Hawks. And one thing that's interesting is they have no seniors. So we'll see how it goes here in the uh, bottom of the first inning. Down one. Yeah, no, you you're gonna hope that Athol here they're gonna want to come out and do what Frontier couldn't and go one, two, three, hopefully, and get back to their hitting because they came off with a good at-bat first inning. Yeah. And when you're able to get, get one run in the first inning and be able to get your players to bat around, you don't want to be out in the field too long. Yeah, and Frontier, they had a good run last year in the postseason. They made it to the Final Four of the Western Mass playoff. Playoffs. as the 21st seed. That's going to be in there for a strike. Yeah, that's uh, a little above the letters, but it's close enough for the home plate umpire. Ground ball to third base. It's going to get through. So Taylor will reach first. Look in a second. Yeah. 
And here comes Haleydowski. Bonafont to deliver, shows bunt, and it's going to hit Hadowski by pitch. It looked like they were going for a bunt or a steal anyways because as soon as the pitch was thrown, the runner at first was already gone. Yeah. And here comes Lou Fifield. That one's going to be in the dirt and hit uh, Fifield as well. So two back-to-back -back hit by pitch. So Tom, now it's Frontier with the bases <laughs> loaded yeah. in the top or the bottom of the first instead of the top of the first. So this should be uh, interesting to see if Frontier uh, does anything different than Athol did. Yeah. That's going to be in there for a strike. Yeah, bases loaded, no outs, so very similar situation to Athol. And it's Skylar Steele, the eighth grader for the Hawks. High pitch, he swung at it. And everyone's going to be safe. As Yeah, no, she bobbled it a yeah. little bit over at third, made her hesitant a little. Instead of throwing it, she decided to just hold on to it and make it so she didn't overthrow it. So it's a... Good play all together just to knock it down and hold them to a one run. Yeah. So here comes Sophia Panardi, first baseman for the Hawks. And that's going to... That's going to be a foul ball, actually, Tom. That actually hit the bat. It, I thought it hit the helmet, but it hit the bat. Yeah, it, from this angle, it looked like it hit the, hit the helmet. So now they're going to uh, discuss it because their Athol coach is trying to say that the ball after he hit the bat was in fair territory. Yeah. So by tagging home, they're going to try and say that there's an out. But the home plate and the other ump say no. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it will be a uh, strike one on her, so. Oh, and one count. Bonifant to deliver. It's going to be another foul ball. As it hits the bat, it hit her foot. Yep. So two strikes on uh, Sophia Panati right now. 0-2 count. Swing. It's going to go. It's going to stay fair. So up the third base line. Two runs will score. Yeah, Tom, it hit the third base bag, actually, and bounced up there. Yeah, so that's going to be a two RBI uh, single for Sophia Pinardi, and front three will be up uh, three to three to one. And there will be runners on the corners with no outs. Yeah. It's going to be in there for strike one, and Sophia Pernardi will steal second. So it'll be second and third now, no outs. Yeah, still no outs. It's going to be in there for strike two, 0 2 count. If it's close, I, I see her swinging. Yeah. So Gabby Adams. Well, that's going to be a wild pitch. And and they're going to run home, too. Yep. So uh, Skyler Steele steals home. And they also advance the third, Tom, so it would be third with no outs. Yeah. That one's going to be in the dirt, and uh, Pinardi holds up. So two and two count. 
Final Font to deliver. And that's going to hit Gabby Adams. So that's three hit by pitches. And that makes it so Frontier has a runner on third and first again with no outs. Yep. It, it will be really interesting to see how long Athol allows their pitcher to keep going if she ends up getting another hit batter. Yeah. And I, I think it's Liv Michonne. She's up to bat now. Nice she bunt. Bunts it. And, oh, it's going to be foul. Just rolled foul, too, Tom. When she laid it down, she just had a bit, a little bit too much backspin on the ball when she hit it to ha it to roll back. Now it's Frontier's coach out there trying to say that it wasn't a foul ball. Yeah, it's some arguing going on. Yeah, no, he's trying to say that the ball stayed in front of a home plate. And if it stayed in front of home plate, then it's a fair ball. Yeah. It's going to be a swing and a miss. Strike two on uh, Liv Michon. Here comes the pitch. And taking off, stealing home is uh, Sophia Pinardi. So she'll get that. So that make it five to one now, Tom, with no outs and a runner on third. Yep. And Athol calls a timeout for a mound visit. We'll see if they end up changing anything up here. Or if they'll just talk it over and calm down her nerves a little. Yeah, and it is the, the first inning, so of their uh, their first game, so just gotta get the the jitters out, you know. Yeah, but it's also hard when you when you have that many people bat around you and you walk that many people too. At, at, at that point, you have to also say, is at that point, when do we switch anyways to make it so we're still in this game? Yeah. So, one and two count for Michonne. The man on third. It's going to be a high pitch, and Adams will steal home. So now it's six to one. One out. Right? Uh, no, no, no outs. outs. Yeah. So it's like a... Brand new game. Yep. It's going to be high for a ball. That's going to make it full count, three and two. Anything close. That's going to be a five ball. To the uh, third, third basement. basement, yeah. And now batting as the designated hitter is Addie Wood. And they call her a Woodsy. That's a strike, Tom. So, all in one count for Addie Woods. Addie. That's going to be ball on the inside of the plate, it looked like. Yeah. It's going to even up the count. One and one now. High pitch to swing it. That's going to stay fair. So, Addie Wood was going to reach first base. To well, uh, that's a nice hit, too. It's just a looper right into the left field there. Yeah. So now it's one out, one on. 
And in the number one, Tom. Yeah. And uh, Addy L will now bat. And you know Athol wants to turn two right here. They want to get out of this inning before Frontier can put any more up on them. Yeah, that's exactly right. They don't. They want to get out of this with uh, not as much damage. So the right fielder. Here comes the pitch, and uh, Addy Wood will steal uh, steal second. So one out, man on second now. Bone offense to deliver. It's going to be ball uh, outside. Yeah. And yep. Yeah. Hit her. <laughs> Hit by pitch. That's going to be the uh, the fourth one this inning. You can hear the third base coach for Frontier 2 explaining if the ball's on the ground and it's not in front of them, they are moving. Yeah, Frontier, they have <laughs> they have three hits this inning and four hit by pitch. That one's going to be to the ground. Foul ball. No. Was it a foul? No, it was fair and it was out at third. Yep, so it's going to be a fielder's choice. Uh, that was Ashley Taylor up to bat. That leaves it two outs, two on, Tom. It will be second and first. Yeah, and here comes Heliadowski. She was uh, hit by pitch in her last at bat. And ended up scoring. It's going to be a ball inside. I thought that was going to hit her almost again. Yeah. She's got to be ready. She Good. wanted that one. Yeah. I think she just took her eye off the ball for a second there. She dropped her elbow a little bit too. So uh, one and one count for uh, Hadowski. Showed a bunt. Missed, got called on the strike, but the runners advance on the pass ball. Yeah, so Adiel and uh, Ashley Taylor will get a, each a steal there. So it's third and second, two outs. And the count's one and two. It's going to be a foul ball, staying alive there. And two outs, you go on anything, so. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be in the dirt. And L will... Steal home. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to make it 7-1. to one. See, just those wild pitches that are allowing a run are, is hurting half all. Yeah. So I would see them talk a little bit about that when they come in. That's going to be another wild pitch, and Taylor will steal home. So the bases are empty again. <laughs> what, two outs? And that's going to be straight three swinging. So no, yeah, Athol is definitely going to try to fix this with their bats. And if their first inning showed anything, they can do it. And it's Frontier now that's going to have to go one, two, three, and try to get back up. 
Yeah. So we'll go to the top of the second inning. The score is eight to one. Yeah, eight to one. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, and uh, Kevin Murphy. And that pitch is going to be in there for uh, for a strike. And it's going to be uh, T. Chapalonis, the second baseman for Athol. Um, Few fouls went off now, Tom. Yeah. It's going to make a 0-2 count. Good pitcher's count. Yes, it is a good pitcher's count. <laughs> and uh, Champalonis will have to foul anything close. So, oh. A nice strike three at the knees, Tom. Just yeah. dropped right behind the plate to get her to to go down looking. Yeah, and that's three strikeouts in a row for uh, for a Liv Michon. And that's going to bring in uh, G. Valancourt, the right fielder. For Athol, it's going to be in there for strike one. She swung at that one. That was a good one to swing at. It looked like it was right in the sweet spot, too. And strike two. In the dirt. Yeah. So, 0-2 count. Sean to deliver. Ooh, that was a close one. Yeah. Time. I think it was just just a little outside. So one and two count. It's gonna be a foul ball. Brown. Way for way for the Athol player to f be fighting now. Yeah, Val that was a good foul off by Valancourt. The ball was coming our way. One's gonna be in the dirt for ball two, so it's going to even it up. Two and two now. Neither the batter or the pitcher is giving up their fight. And uh, Sean to deliver. That's going to be strike three. Or yep. Yeah. Strike three swinging. It's going to be high for for ball two, and it's uh, Alyssa Logan up to bat, the leadoff hitter for the uh, for the Bears. That's going to be ball three outside, full count now. Fly ball, and it's gonna go out of play. Yeah, she popped that one up right, right behind home plate. She did a good job of staying alive there. You want to want to swing at anything close. And Sean to deliver. That's gonna be a. Grounder uh, gets past the shortstop. So a nice hit for uh, Alyssa Logan. 
Yeah, no, Athol comes away with a two-out hit. And uh, it's always fun to get a hit with two outs. Yeah. Two-out rally for the Bears. And it's going to be Allie Robertson in there for strike one. So 0-1-1 count. Sean to deliver, and Ooh. it's going to hit her in the, in the leg. So it'll be first and second with two outs for Athol now. Yeah. At first, we thought Frontier was going to get a nice one, two, three, but right now, Athol is fighting to come back. Yeah, Michonne had four strikeouts in a row. That's going to be a fly out or fly ball. And, oh, and it's going to be dropped. And that's why that a coach always tells you to run out your hit. Yeah. Because a routine play just like that turned into a base hit to make it so now Athol has the bases loaded with two outs. Yeah. And now it's going to be the bases loaded with two outs to uh, Athol's cleanup hitter, uh, Chapelonis. On deliver, it's going to be a foul ball out of play. What's fun with two outs, Tom, is as soon as you hear the bat hit the ball, everyone leaves the bases. <laughs> yeah. You're running on anything. It's going to be ball one outside. going to be almost in the same spot. Ball two now. Two and one count. Good hitters count. Sean to deliver. That's going to be high and outside. I don't see her swinging unless it's a perfect pitch for her because a walk is a run. Yeah. Three to, three to one count. Unless the coach gives you the green light. Not going to be swinging. And that's going to be in the dirt, so it's going to walk in a run. So now it will be 8-2 to two with two outs. Bottom of the second. Base is loaded. Frontier is having a quick mound visit. So they'll talk it over and tr try to calm down their picture and say, we got this, we can get out of it. And it's going to bring up uh, M. Hermes, the catcher for the, the Bears. And Hermes, at her last at bat, she, uh, she walked. It's going to be in there for strike one. And that's all they need again, Tom, is another walk will help them too. Yeah. Just walked in a run, so. It's going to be strike two, though. Two back-to-back -back strikes. 0-2 count now. Hermes is going to be swinging anything close. It's going to be high and inside. So one and two count. Sean to deliver. It's gonna be in the dirt. Way to stop it though to make it so the runners can't advance. Yeah. Good stop by uh, Lou Fifield. Sean to deliver. And that's gonna be strike three looking. So Frontier gets out of this one. We're only allowing one run, Tom. 
Yeah. And it comes on a walk. Athol was able to get the bases loaded, but other than that, was only able to get one across. So now Frontier is going to come out and get their ups for the top of the, or bottom of the third. No, bottom of the second. second. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it feels like they played in more than one inning. Yeah, it was a, it was a long first inning uh, for the Hawks. Um, and we'll see what they can uh, do here in the bottom of the second. We'll be right back. They'll take a quick break. So we are watching Frontier Community Access Delta. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alver, Alec Eckel, Kevin Murphy here at Frontier Softball Field. It is 8 to 2. And uh, Lou Fifield will be uh, up to bat here to start off the bottom of the second inning. And her last at bat, she was hit by pitch and she scored a run. So here comes the pitch. It's going to be high for ball one. Bonfont front to deliver. That's going to be ball two. I think it was outside. Pitch, it's going to be in the dirt. So, 3 0 count. Not the start that I have to all pick for once right now. Yeah, and usually a 3 0 count, you're not, uh, you're not swinging. Comes the pitch, sounds going to be in the dirt as well. So, Fightfield will reach for a space on a walk. That'll bring up Frontier's cleanup hitter, Skylar Steele. And she reached um, on an error to third base last time, and she got an RBI. So it's going to be in the dirt, and Fifield will advance to second. Yep. Oh, she got hit too. Oh, so they're going to say that it was a hit by pitch, it looks like, because Frontier's batter just went to first, so it'll be first and second, no outs, Tom. Yeah. I, I definitely missed that. Yeah, I, I missed that as well, so. So. Uh, it's going to be uh, Sophia Penardi, first baseman for the uh, for the Hawks. Gonna be high for ball one. And the frontier third base coach just said if the ball's on the ground, you're moving. Yeah. So they definitely want to add to their cushion. Yeah, they're up by six, and Ooh. that's nothing. Fightfield will take off to third, and she will be called out. It happened so quick, Tom, that I missed it. <laughs> Yeah, she so it's one out, runner on second, <laughs> yeah, a right. one and one count. And uh, Steele will, Skyler Steele will steal uh, third. Yeah, so it was a swinging strike called with a runner stealing third on it and was able to get there safely. Yeah, but it was probably a hit and run play. So hit scores a run here. It's going to be on the ground. And it's going to go by the first baseman. So uh, Pinar, or Steel will, Skyler Steele will uh, score. And Pinardi will reach second. Yeah, she reached second on the overthrow at first. It just was out of the reach of the first baseman's glove to make it so she was able to advance to second.
So that's a ball high. It's going to be Gabby Adams up to bat, and she was hit by a pitch her last at bat. And got a steal. Good stop by the catcher there. It's going to make it ball two. Two no count. And a lot. It looks like they're hoping for another pass ball too because she she's moving like she wants third. Yeah. That's that's gonna make it three and zero. Oh. Comes the pitch, and that's gonna that's gonna hit Adams as well. So now it will be first and second again, Tom. Still one, just one out. And Athol is having another mound visit. And it's going to bring up uh, Liv Michon. And she flew out to the uh, fir third baseman, her last at bat. As I like to call it, it's the, it's the mano y mano, the Pitcher versus pitcher. So. It would be interesting to see what Athol does if they decide to ch change it up anyway or anything. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, but they, they, do, they do have a play to any of the bases except for home. Yeah, no, on the ground you're definitely going to see them hopefully go for third to get the advance runner. Yep, and that's it's gonna be ball one outside. So one and oh count from Sean. High for ball two. I wouldn't be surprised if you see her just throw him high and walk her, if anything. Yeah, I mean, you never know, so. It's going to be ball three as that one's in the dirt. 3 0 count. Here comes the pitch, and that's going to be ball four. So base is loaded now, Tom. Force at all bases. Yep. And it's gonna bring in bring up uh Addie Wood. And she's gonna advance on the wild pitch, so that's gonna be another run. And it will make it so Frontier has runners on third and second. And it makes it a 10-2 game. It's going to be in there. Uh, I think that was a ball. That's going to be in there for a strike. So that makes it two and one, Tom. Yeah, good good hitters count. Ooh, nice cut, too, on that swing. Yeah. Swing and a miss. So that's going to even it up. Two and two now. Comes a payoff pitch. It's going to be a fly ball, and uh, second baseman dropped it. So, uh, Tom, on the miscommunication there on the infield, the runner from third will actually score because no one was paying attention and just allowed the runner to run in. Yeah, I, I, I actually missed that too, so. So it will be first and second now. 
Oh, nope, because they're going to steal on the pass ball, which will make it third and second now. And Athol looks like they called another timeout. Um, I so think there's, it, was, it may have been Frontier, but... So now there's another mound visit. So yeah, Tom, what ended up happening is on that pop-up that was hit to the... I think it was the shortstop, right? Uh, uh, maybe the second baseman. Uh, they dropped. They didn't get to it, so it landed fair. And then they threw it to second to try to get the person who wasn't on second at the time. But that made it so they were able to run from third to home. Yeah. So now it's an 11-2 game. It's either uh, eleven to two or ten to two. So. And it's going to be uh, Adiel up to bat. Uh, she was hit by a pitch and scored a run. It'll be uh, a dead ball too. Yep. So that makes it so the runner from third scores which will make it so Frontier only has a runner in second. Yeah. And we'll also make it so it's 13 to two. And top of the order, Ashley Taylor, who she got a hit in the the third baser first at bat down the line and had a fielder's choice. So she's one and two. And the leadoff hitter for Frontier. It's going to be in there for a strike. And L on Addy L on second. Gonna be in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher. Yeah, good job to stop it and also come up ready to throw at the same time. Here comes the pitch. It's gonna be outside. Three and one count. And they're going to say that it hit her. Another hit by pitch. So it will be runners at first and second again, Tom. And it's going to bring up Haley Adowski, who was hit by pitch in the first inning. And, uh,. Struck out swinging. Ten the first. So. so advances. The runners advance again on another wild pitch. So it makes it so they are now at third and second. Ooh. Big swing and a miss. I think there's two outs. It's going to be... Uh, Call the ball on the outside corner. Yep. Two and one count. And that's going to hit her as well, so... <laughs> so now bases are loaded once again for Frontier. And it seems like uh, everything tonight, since they've been able to, has been working their way. So it looks like they're looking to put another couple runs on the board. Yeah. And now batting is Lou Fifield. She was hit by a pitch in the, the first inning. Grounded a third. And 
third baseman just takes it to third and gets the go-ahead out there. Yeah, and we we were mistaken. It was only but only a runner one out. does score. Yes, yeah, so an RBI for uh, right field there. So it's fourteen to two with two outs. Foul ball down the first baseline. Yeah, and they'll bring up uh, Skylar Steele. She's up to bat now. She reached on the air, had an RBI in the first, and was hit by a pitch in the uh, in this inning. Pass ball, and the runners will advance to second and third. One and one count. It's going to be high for ball two. Two and one. Here comes the pitch. It'll be in the dirt, and that'll make it three and one count. Ooh. It's going to be a foul out of play. So 3-2 full count now. Nice pitch to swing at two. Just got under it a little too much. Yeah. Big pitch here. It's going to be a fly ball to the right fielder. And it'll drop in. So two runs will score. And two RBIs for Skyler Steele there. Yeah, well, one thing that uh, that right fielder is not liking probably right now is the sun because you can tell it they're having issues with the sun because she's trying to block it with her glove right now. Yeah. So it'll be two outs, runner on first. Yeah, and it'll bring up uh, Sophia Pinardi. She got a hit to third base and reach on an error. That's a ball high, Tom. In, the, in this inning. So, one and no count. Ooh. High for ball two, and Steele will take off the second. She's going to take off the third now, and she's going to get in there, so. Ooh. Good that was a close call, too. Yeah, but a good heads-up base running by uh, Skyler Steele. Very heads-up base running and w hustle, too. Yeah. There was no hesitation as soon as she w went around second. She saw the opportunity, and she didn't hesitate for a second. She just went for it. So that will give Sophia P Pinardi a in scoring position. Woo! Yeah, and that, that, almost, <laughs> that almost hit uh, Skylar Steele. I wonder if that makes her uh, think that stealing third was a bad idea. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> she lost the cleat, too, it looked like. Yeah, they put her cleat back on. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be in there for a strike. Might be one and two. Could be wrong though. It's gonna be in the dirt. And now we're gonna have a pickle. And Steel will get tagged out at home. So Penardi will have another chance to uh, to bat next inning. Um and that will that will end the uh, the second inning in Frontier, adding on their their lead. Um, yeah, it makes it sixteen to two at the end of this inning, Tom. 
So I got eight runs both innings, so. And we will be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Al Keckel, Kevin Murphy and Mason Smith now. 16 to two. A swinging strike one, Tom. And it's going to be uh, top of the third. So it'll be a one and one count now with the uh, ball in the dirt. And it's going to be uh, H. Cummings, the left fielder for Athol. She had a strikeout looking her last at bat. Grounded a shortstop over to Gabby Adams. Throw over to first. And a good pick by uh, Sophia Penardi. Yeah, no, she had to get down there and scoop it out of the dirt, and she was uh, able to get the ball still to be able to get their first out. Ooh, ball high, almost got her in the high head. <laughs> oh, man. So it's going to be uh, Gregory, the first baseman for uh, for the Bears. So one and no count. And Michonne will deliver. A nice cut at that one. Yeah. Strike. Strike one, it's gonna even up the count. One up. Oh, strike two. One and two count. One and two. Oh, I, yeah, that was two and two and one, two yeah. and one. Ooh, and, and that oh. gets her off the knee. Yeah, that's that one's gotta hurt. You can see that she tried to get out of the way of that one too, but just not enough time. So it's one out. We'll run around first. It's gonna bring up uh, T. Chapelonis. The uh, second baseman. So you're going to be a grounder down the first base mine, first baseline, and it's going to be a foul ball. So the runner will go back to first, and they'll do it all over again. Yep. 0 and 1 count. It's going to be in the dirt. Good stop by Fifield. Yeah, the way to stay in front of it, making it so the runner there at first can't advance. Here comes the pitch. Ooh. And that's going to be in there for swing and a miss, strike two. One and two count now. Her last at bat, she struck out. Ooh. Ball just low. Yeah. It's going to even it up. Two and two now. <laughs> Almost the same spot. I believe it was the same spot. Yeah. Three and two full count now. Good hitter's count though. Way to work back into a hitter's count. Yeah. And that, she's going to walk. So that's a good, good play, uh, bat at bat for the Athol hitter. Being able to work from a two and one count to ball four to make it so that it's runners on first and second. And it's not, yeah, that's going to bring up. Uh, and it would be a swinging first strike. Yep, it's going to bring up a uh, G. Uh, Fallon Court. Ooh, a bunt. Oh, just go foul. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea, though. You know, right on the third baseline. I, I. If that stayed fair, I could have been. It would have paid off nicely. Yeah, it's a smart pay, uh, smart play because it usually Ooh. pulls the third baseman. Adams 
Uh, went to second there, uh, fielder's choice, and so they call her out at second, safe at first, and the runner from third will advance on the wild throw to first. Yep. So that should make it three to sixteen now, right? Yeah. I'm surprised that they didn't argue with the call at second because it looked like her foot wasn't on the bag at the time either. It's going to be in there. Ball one, yeah. Adams almost uh, tagged Chapalonis out. Yeah, it almost came out to be a tri triple play close to it. So two outs, fly ball, pop up right to the home plate. Oh, just a little miscommunication there. Yeah, the catcher and third baseman had to call it. One of them had to call it. But from someone who played catcher when they played baseball, it was definitely a catcher's play the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes it two strikes. Yeah, I think it's a one and two count. Could be wrong though. Ooh. That missed, that yeah. just missed. It's a little low, and maybe inside as well. It's gonna be, oh. She's gonna walk, so. Runners will now be on first and second. Number 10 is coming up for you, Tom, for at bat. Uh, it's going to be Allie Robertson. Uh, she walked in the first and was hit by a pitch in her last at bat. And it will be a strike on the first pitch. So, man, on first and second, two outs. So, it's a 1 1 count now. On to deliver. It's going to be low for a ball. Two and one count. Good hitters count. Sean with the pitch. Ooh, nice foul tip. Nice pitch. Nice cut. Yeah. Two and two now. Ooh, strike three looking? Yes, yeah, strike three looking at the knees. And that'll end uh, top of the third inning. Um, we'll go to the bottom of the third. That uh, is 16 to three. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Well, when there's two outs, they say it. No, you, you say second and third. You don't say third and second. You oh. always say the smaller number first when okay. you say the bases. So it's first and second, second and third, first and third. Right. Never third and third first. first. Yeah. It's just, so go first and third. It's always the smaller than the bigger. It doesn't sound bad when he's try, trying to find the batter and they throw the pitch already, right? Because by... Sometimes he'll go to find who who's up to hit, and he'll already throw a pitch. So that's why I was hopping in now and then for the balls and strikes. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. To make it so <laughs> so you don't miss any. Uh, so <laughs> that works out nicely. Yeah. When the athlete's so, batting, you just get him once, and then you can. I love how how pitcher. I can tell when you're not now, gonna say it because it's you're like so long afterwards. Yeah. I can just be like, okay, I'll Especially do it. When they walk yeah, and I'm just. Uh, yeah, usually I'm looking yeah, down or writing something, I don't know. No, so that's, so I'll plan on that. If, if I don't see you say it, I'll say it. Okay. So don't worry about if you can't yeah. get it out of your but, mouth quick enough. Because i rather you focus on finding the person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
No, but I got more drinks if you need something. There's a a Powerade and another water in my front seat. You didn't open it? No, I got the, this one. You got another one too. Yeah, help yourself. Murphy, remind me that you're you gotta take your other power rate at the end of the night too. I don't worry about it. It's for you. Yes. If I forget it, I'll just bring it next time. Okay. Alright. Alright, so it's bottom of third. Sixteen to three? Yep. yep. Bottom three, sixteen and to who's three. Up now? Uh Frontier. Sophia oh. Pernardi will be up. Because okay. uh Skylar Steele got Note, just take note if somebody, they might be subbing people in it, you know, because it's such a high school. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Keep an eye out. I have no idea. I can't see it. I, I think they subbed in uh, Roz, uh, well, Shemt for uh, Fight Field. But. Well, I'll keep an eye out, too. Yeah, because I got to put that in here. So Fight Field's out. So. I, 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 all I know is uh, it wasn't, I don't think she was catching, so but I could be could be wrong. Try to clarify that for me. So, oh, when you you could say it in video. Yeah. Oh. All right. Five, four, three. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Kekko, Mason Smith, and Kevin Murphy. It'll be Sophia Panardi, the first baseman for Frontier, leading off the bottom of the third inning. Score is uh, sixteen to three. It's going to be inside for ball one. And here comes the train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here comes the pitch. It's going to be inside and in dirt. 2-0 count for Panardi. It's going to be inside for ball three now. So 3-0 count for Panardi. And Font will deliver. Ooh. Nice swing. She got the green light on 3-0 and nice hit up to center field. Yeah, nice uh, low long drive right up the middle to go right over second to drop in to center field for a single for her. So runners on first with no outs. And that'll bring up Gabby Adams. Her bo both at bat, she was hit by pitch. Oh, and another good hit to center field. This time, center fielder will reel it in. And was able to get it in quick enough to hold the runner at first. So it'll be one out, runner on first now for Frontier. Yeah, one out. And that'll bring up Liv Michonne. That will be in the dirt for a ball. Yeah. And Michonne flew out in the first, and last inning she walked. So she's 0 for 1. Ooh. It's going to be a wild pitch, and Penardi will take off the second. So now, Sean has a man in scoring position. Here comes the pitch. Inside for ball. Ball two. Three and no count. And Sean will walk. And they also advance on the wild throw, too. So it'll be f first and third. Yes. And that's going to bring up. Uh, I was uh, waiting for a minute because it looked like she was going to try the advance to second on the walk. Yeah. It's going to be Addie Wood. 
the uh, designated hitter for the Hawks. And that will be a ball, and she advances to second two. Yep. Sean took off the, got the steal there, so second and third. Just one out. Comes the pitch, and in the dirt. They're going to say that it hit her, so it would be bases loaded now with one out, Tom. And for Frontier, who we got? Uh, it's going to be Addie L. She got a hit to, I think, left field. And was hit by pitch in the first. Ball high. Bases loaded, one out. And a chance for Frontier to attack on some more runs. It's going to be low for a ball. 2-0. It's going to be called inside. 2-1 count. Good hitters count. And that's going to be inside for ball three. Three and one. Here comes the pitch. Ooh. Kind of tough one to swing at. That definitely did not look like a swing she will be happy with. No. A little in the dirt, so 3-2 full count. And that'll be strike three. No. Drop. Yeah, three strike though, so. Yeah, but the... Um, Hopefully. Bases are loaded, so you can't uh, steal. Can't, yeah, you can't steal first. Good to know. If, if uh, there's a man on first, can't can't advance. So two outs, and I will bring up uh, Ashley Taylor, leadoff hitter for the Hawks. Oh no, that's going to bring up actually. Uh, Emily Candorali. Uh -uh. Now would be a strike. And she's a pin pinch hitter for Taylor. Ground ball to second base. And she'll go over to first for the out. So... That'll end the uh, third inning here. Um, score is still 16-3. Yeah, uh, good job of Athol getting out of it before they could do anything else. Yeah. They got out of it with no uh, base load and no damage. So we will be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Echo, the duo, <laughs> Kevin Murphy and Mason Smith. Um, it's gonna. So we're here in the top of the fourth inning, and it's gonna bring up uh, Bonafont. She had an RBI in the first. And the first pitch from Frontier will be a strike. Yeah, and it's gonna be. Uh, the mano a mano, pitcher versus pitcher. That I like to call it. Pop up. Fly ball. And nice catch by Michonne. So it would be one out. And... It's going to bring up uh, Chapelonis, who flew out uh, to the pitcher in the first. 
but Frontier's coach is having a mound visit, so... Yeah, it looks like, uh... I believe what it could be is the pitch count. We could be getting closer. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, El Keiko, Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy. It's going to be ball one in the dirt, as, uh... Addy Wood came in to pitch for Liv Michon. Swing and a miss. It's going to be one and one now. Gonna be a, a foul ball. So one and two. That one's in the or outside. So two and two. be outside. Full count now for Chapelonis. Comes the pitch from Addie Wood. I'll be in the dirt, so Chapelonis will walk. It's going to bring up uh, Hermes. And uh, her last at bat, she struck out looking. It's going to be in there for a strike. So, on one count. One out, one person on first. High for ball one, or ball two, excuse me. Two, two and one count. Comes the pitch, and there for strike two. It's gonna be in the dirt. And Capilonis will hold up. Full count, 3 2. Or, yeah, that'll, that'll be uh, ball four. So man on first and second, one out. I'll bring up uh, the left fielder for the Bears. Uh, H. Cummings, that'll be inside, low and inside, ball one. And both runners will advance, so second and third now on that wild pitch. Rio count. Is it just not working? So the dial, so the dial got turned. That's gonna be in there for a strike. And I also was waiting because I thought it was still on. So three and one count. As uh, Addie Wood will have to work all the way back here to get the strike out. And that'll be uh, ball four. So three straight walks. Makes it so bases are loaded. Yep. It's 
just gonna bring up uh, K. Gregory. It's her last at bat. She was uh, hit by pitch. Called for a strike on the inside part of the plate. Here comes a pitch. Uh, it's going to be one and one. You can see that she's trying to keep them low and try to get into a nice ground ball play for them. Yeah. So two and one count. Comes the pitch. Ooh, ball three outside. From where we are, that looked awful close. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell with the, with the angle we're at. Three and one count. And that's going to hit her, so that'll score a run. It's going to make it 16 to 4. And Frontier just called out another timeout for a mound visit. Yeah, there's been a lot of hit by pitches this game. Between both teams. Yeah. Not not just one alone. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's why you were seeing such a big difference in score too. The walk difference. Yeah. Still just just the one out and the bases are loaded. And uh, Coach Dean giving his players a pep talk. <laughs> Here comes the pitch. It's going to be inside for ball one. One and no count. T Chapelone is well, well, have a good eye there. Two zero count mm -hmm. now. <laughs> Those bench making a lot of noise. It's gonna get away. Wild pitch. Runner scores oh. and. So that's gonna make it. Uh, 16 to 5. Hawks lead by 11. And that wild pitch. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be in there for a strike. She moved too, like she thought it was gonna hit her. Yeah. A little inside, but. Comes the pinch. And now it's gonna be a 3 2 full count. Good, uh, good job fouling it off. Yeah. a big pitch here as uh in a second and third that's gonna be strike three looking that's a big out for frontier right there yeah that and frontier has been doing a good job at just getting the strikes that they need too when they need them yeah that would have um loaded up the bases again ball it's gonna be uh that one Fountain court up to bat now. And he would to deliver. That's another ball in time. Yeah. So another good hitter count by Alfall. Yeah, 2 0 count. 
It's gonna be in there for a strike. A little... Maybe on the outside, bottom corner. It's gonna be high for ball, good stop by the catcher. Yeah, so it is, Ross, uh, Shump in there catching for the Hawks. It's gonna be strike two. That one was kind of down the middle. Two and two count. Or ball four. So she walks that one. As that was a uh, Spooner who pinched it. So base load two outs and top of the order Alyssa Logan up to bat now. That'll be on the inside corner for a strike. She foul that one off, so two out count for Logan. Here comes a big pitch. Pull. Big ball. That one. Yeah, a little wild. At this point, you just got to tell the pitcher to just calm down, get it over, anything hit. You know, you got defensive players. Yeah, good defense behind her. and I'll make, make them make the play. I don't get by... Uh, Raj Shemp there and uh, one uh, it's two and two now fly ball into right field oh, oh. and uh, still dove for that one and it's going to drop in there And uh, we're gonna, yeah, she got the. We're gonna just take a moment. Uh, we'll be right back. We're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. So it is now 16 to 6. In the uh, top of the fourth. Base is still loaded. And that was ball one there. It's going to get away. Ball two. So an 0-2 count, Wood to deliver. It's gonna be away and here comes a runner. Close play at home. Called safe. Yeah. So that'll make it uh, 16 to seven. So Athol slowly coming back here with two outs. Man on second and third now. It's going to be in there for a strike. Comes the pitch from Wood. It's going to be high for a ball. And she'll walk. So it'll be third and first. No, nope, base is loaded. Oh yeah, I. 
I spaced out for a second. Forgot the person on second. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be a ball. It's going to be in there for a strike now, so counts one and one. For uh, that's going to be a wild pitch. Two and one count. Wood to deliver, and that's going to hit her, so. Hit by pitch. So that walks in a run, makes it so the bases are loaded once again. As Bonafant gets hit by a pitch there. 16 to 8 now. Chapelonis up to bat. Pass ball for a ball. Yep, she uh, flew out to the pitcher in the first uh, first inning and has two walks. That's going to get away from her as well. Two oh count. Comes the pitch. Foul tip. Two and one now. It's a long top of the fourth inning for the Bears. Now Frontier just wants to get out of it. That'll be uh, strike two. As Chaplin is missed on that one. Two and two count. And Addie Wood to deliver. Fly ball. And it'll drop it was out of play. Or so still two two count. Wood to deliver. That'll be in the dirt. That'll make it 16 to 9. As uh, I think Valancourt there stole still home. That's gonna make it a 3-2 full count. Definitely becoming an interesting game. Yeah. Ground ball over to the third baseman. Uh, she steps on third, but wasn't a force out. So, so both runners will be stay safe. Just some uh, miscommunication. Yeah. So the run will score. And that's going to make it sixteen to nine. That will be a strike. So Hermes will be up to bat. Runners advance on the pass ball. Yeah, it's going to make it second and third with still two outs. And that gets rid of the uh, force play at any of the bases. That's going to be another wild pitch. But runners will hold. Nice. 
to account. It's going to be uh, inside for a ball. Comes a pitch from Matty Wood. Ball four. So that will be bases loaded again. And that'll bring up uh, left fielder four. The uh, for the Bears, uh, H Cummings, and looks like. Ashley Taylor will take over at the mound for the Hawks. I could be wrong. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. It is 16 to 10, and Ashley Taylor will take over at the mound as Athol has had a long top of the fourth inning. Similar to uh, Frontier's first inning where they, and second, where they knocked on eight runs. H. Cummings up to bat. Taylor delivers, and it's going to be low for a ball. High for a ball now. So 2 0 count. But the base is loaded. Ooh, foul tip. Back into the catcher's glove. Spring and strike on that one. Yeah, so 2 2 count. In the dirt. So, three two full count now for uh, Cummings. Ball and four. She, yeah, she'll walk. So that will walk in a run, it's making it so it's still bases loaded. Yeah, 16 to 11 now. And Gregory will be up to bat. Strike one. Her last at bat, she was uh, hit by pitch. Strike two, and she's not happy because yeah. she wasn't ready. Actually, she wasn't even in the box. Oh, that's, I guess it's going to be low for a ball. One and two count. That'll be strike three. So Frontier finally getting out of the that inning. As uh, Athol tacks on eight runs to make it at uh, 11 to 16. So we'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Kekel, Kevin Murphy, Mason Smith. Score is 16 to 11 after uh, Athol just tacked on and eight runs. And batting for the Hawks is Haley Dowski. Her last at bat, she was hit by pitch. That's going to be a wild. As we said in my uh, my baseball team, leave that one for the birds. <laughs> So 
It's going to be outside for a ball. 2-0 count. Here comes the pitch. Nice swing. And just foul. Yeah, just on the outside of the line. Yeah, I thought it was going to drop in there for a strike, but, or I mean a hit. It, it definitely was close. Good idea, too. So, two and one count for uh, Hadowski. Grounder up the middle. That would be a base hit. Yeah. Turning, she looks for two. But then she goes back to first. Yeah. Nice uh, grounder. Yeah. And that's going to bring up uh, Roz, Roz Shemp. Oh, Roz Shemp. Went to still second on the first pitch, but foul ball mixed, so she has to go back to first. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised if she goes again on the pitch. Here comes the pitch. And another foul ball. Yeah. So, 0 2 count. As uh, Rajem is, er, is batting for Lou Fifield. And stealing is a uh, nice steal by Hadowski. So one and two count. That's going to be in the dirt. So two, two count now. It's going to be high for ball three. Good battle by Roz there. Full count now, 3 2. Fly ball to the second or shortstop. And that'll make it one out. Uh, man on second. And now batting is uh, Skylar Steele. And she has two home runs on the season. Oof. As uh, Adowski steals third there. And that's going to hit Steele in the, in the ankle. So. I'll bring up Sophia Pinardi. I gotta go back to the other small one. 
And that will bring up uh, Gabby, uh, Gabby Adams. And it looks like she was hit by a pitch. So, base is loaded. And Liv Michonne will be batting now. As her pass to a, a bat, she walked on both of them. Grounded in the dirt, and Hadowski will steal home. That's going to make it 17 to 11. One no count for Sean. That one's going to be in the dirt as well. 2 0 count. And Athol's coach is going to call time. Timeout for the uh, for the Bears. So they're going to take a quick break. So we're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, uh, Kevin Murphy, Mason Smith. 3-0 count now. And Michonne will walk. So the bases will be loaded. And that'll bring up Addie Wood. Yeah, base is loaded. One out, and that'll be inside for ball one. Here comes the pitch from Bonafont. In for ball two. That one was in the dirt. Three zero count, and Penardi will take off to home. That'll make it eighteen to eleven. And the pitch for a ball. And she'll walk. So that will load the bases up again. And that will bring up uh, Addie L. That will be a strike down the middle. Still just one out here in the bottom of the fourth. It's going to be in the dirt. Two oh count for L. That'll be down low for ball three. The ball two, so. One and two count. That's gonna be called the ball, Tom. Yep. It's actually not, I, I said that wrong. Nah, now it's three and one. And that'll be high for ball four. So that walks in a run. 19 to 11 here. And that'll bring up Ashley Taylor, the leadoff hitter for Frontier. This will be her... Uh, Fifth at bat. 
And the first pitch of this at bat is called a strike. That'll be strike two there. That one was uh, a little inside. Oh, and that, <laughs> that's gonna hit her in the in the helmet. So a lot of hit by pitches, and that'll score another run. That will make it twenty to eleven. Those ones definitely wake you up, though, if you're uh, <laughs> kind of uh, half asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit of a wake up call. And Haley Rowski will be at the bat again. As she, uh, I think she lit off this inning. And Ooh. that one's going to be a running slap hit. I forget what they actually call it. Oh. You stumped me on that one. I should know. I think it's a hit and run. Or it's a slap, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no, it wouldn't be a hit and run. Cause hit and run is when... When the runner is moving. Yeah. Oh, and that's going to get up to uh, go into the left field, or left center field. Three runs will score, and Hadowski will take, over, take off to third. So a triple. She unloads the bases with that triple, yeah. too. Three RBI triple for Hadowski. Uh, and that's going to bring up uh, first pitch is a ball. Raj Shemp. Last at bat, she uh, fouled out to the shortstop. Grounded back to the pitcher. She'll go over to first, get the out, and Roz will get the RBI. Could be wrong, but I think it's 24 to 11 now. Two outs, and the bases are empty. That'll bring up Skyler Steele. Her last at bat this inning. Um, she got hit by a pitch. Ooh, nice I, hit. Yeah, high five ball to the right fielder, and it'll go over her head. And she'll take off to third as she rounded second there, and two back, or well, triple there for Skylar Steele. So two triples in the inning. That'll yeah, break. The one thing about Frontiers Field is the outfielders and infielders play right into the sun. Yeah. Even with sunglasses, it's kind of tough. Especially on this field. That'll make it a... Uh, Comes the pitch to Benardi. She get, gets out of the way and Skyler Steele steals home. So that clears the bases. They'll be inside for a ball. Two no count. Got 
Nice hit, but it goes foul. It was a nice line drive down the third baseline, but... Yeah, it just stayed on the other side of the line. So, 2 and 1 count for Pinardi. Ooh. That'll be in there for strike. That was kind of looped in there. I'm surprised she held up on that one. I'll make it 2 and 2. Just got to protect now, and that'll be in the dirt. Oh. Guess it'll fall 4. So Pinardi will reach first. And the pitch. Ball. Pinardi will steal uh, second. As Gabby Adams is now up to bat. Shortstop for Frontier. Oh and one count, or one and zero count. Excuse me. Two and zero oh now. And Bonafont's pitch count has got to be up there. It's going to make it three zero, oh and Penardi will steal third. Sure, Adams will have the uh, green light here. So that's going to be inside for a strike. Here comes the pitch, three and one, and that will be high for ball four. So first and third. And I'll bring up uh, Liv Michon. Swing and a miss. Adams will take off to second, steal third, and Pinardi will steal home there, so. Yeah, so on the throw down the second, uh, miss play there so it gets by the second baseman allowing the person to now go to third. Fly ball into left field and that one will drop. Michonne around first as she gets an RBI there. She's almost halfway to second. Yeah, she, she, you know, after the second baseman missed the ball, she's uh, kicking herself for not continuing to go. And the uh, athball catcher will call a time to talk to the pitcher. Sean will take off the second, and she'll get that. Oh, she got called out. That'll be the third out, too, Tom. Yeah, and that, that'll end the inning. So the score is, uh, if we have it right here, 29 to 11. As we go to the uh, top of the fifth inning, we're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. That's fouled off for strike one. A wind up in the pitch. Ball high inside. It will be one and one. Strike three. Ball one in the dirt. Strike one. So wind up the pitch. Ball low in the dirt. The pitch. Strike. Two and two count. Ball in the dirt, Tom. Three and two now. What did I miss? You missed a strikeout. All right. So there's one out. Ball four. So there will be a runner on first with one out. And that will bring up uh, Valancourt for the Bears. Ball high and inside. As uh, Spooner reaches first there. Nice hit out to center field. And nice catch by Skylar Steele. Yeah, and it forces that runner on first to go back to first. So it will be two outs, a runner on first. And that's going to actually bring up uh, Allie Robertson. will be in the dirt for ball one. One and no count. High swing and a miss. It's going to be 2 0 now. Comes to the pitch. It's going to be in the dirt. And. Uh, that actually looked like it went off her toe the way that it bounced. Yeah, it may have been off of the, uh, the plate almost. So, uh, Spooner will steal second there. And that will be high and outside. I think it's two and one. It's going to be in there for a strike. That was a nice strike, too. Yeah. That's going to make it a all four, actually. And that's going to bring up uh, Bonafant. Foul off on the first pitch, so that will make it a one strike count. And uh, Bonafant uh, lost a bat. She was hit by a pitch, so. 
and be in the dirt. Spooner will take off to third and called safe that third. Yeah, she safely gets in there. Man on first and third. High five ball to left field. And a nice catch by... Um, so they end up getting two on, but... And he would. They end up getting two on, but end up stranding two. Yeah. And it looks like... I think that's going to be the game over. Uh, yeah, that's. it looks like they're lining up to shake hands, so that I guess that's uh, it for us, Tom. Yeah, so final score... 29 to 11. Frontier is going to win it at home and they will move to 2 and 2. And I thought they will move to 0 and 1 on the season. Uh, it was a great game all around. Uh, and uh, we will we'll see you guys next time. You're watching Frontier Community Access Dollars.